I went from southwest London to east London to go and get this food. I got back home, another one hour, 30 minute drive. Go back home and oh my gosh, the nausea hit me so, so bad. I couldn't eat the food. I had to literally throw up everything I'd eaten in the morning, which was fruits and some vegetables. So later in the evening. <laughs> the battered face um and as usual every time i turn a new week i get really bad nausea and i started to throw up it was really really horrible yesterday i actually drove about an hour 20 minutes to go to a nigerian shop a nigerian restaurant to get a food some kind of food i was craving for it's called two it's like a, it's made out of maize and it's soft it's like um mashed potatoes and you eat it with a uh, red sauce um some draw soup and veggie and meat and i was like oh my gosh i need to have this i need to have this because when i was in nigeria i didn't get to eat the food and i love it it's mainly eaten by the houses those from the north in nigeria and i grew up eating it and i really really wanted it yesterday so i drove from my house an hour 20 minute drive to go to this restaurant in canning town i live around the richmond area and if you know richmond to canning town is not a joke so i went from southwest london to east london to go and get this food i got back home another one hour 30 minute drive go back home and oh my gosh the nausea hit me so so bad i couldn't eat the food i had to literally throw up everything i'd eaten in the morning which was fruits and some vegetables so later in the evening, I waited for my tummy to settle and then I was able to eat the food. Only a little portion though. Even like that, it tasted so weird. Um, so I'm about to make my uh, coffee. I'm about to make coffee right now. I'm going to make me um, some coffee, decaf coffee. I'm going to put it in the jar, store that in the fridge and usually have it cold because really anything hot is not really favorable so i have to eat cold food cold food is what settles in my tummy now today's nine weeks one day and i don't know how i'm gonna feel if i'm gonna feel nauseated again today as i usually do usually i get the nausea the, the week the day that i hit a new week and three days after that and then two days or three four days into the new week i feel a bit better but then it's not enough because then it's three days till the next before I hit another week and then that's when I'm able to eat what I really want to eat so um so I've had my water lemon water a fresh water with lemon I haven't taken my prenatals which I'm gonna do um probably in the evening because I think they might be making me feel sick a little bit so I'm trying out these new ones from Boots um there's a seven seas pack but I'll talk about that a bit more later in another video I'll show you the full pack and I have also this vitamin D spray that i've been taking since i got pregnant um not just because i was pregnant but because of the covid as well so just one spray in your mouth and it kind of gives you that peppermint taste and i did have oops i was going to show you something else but it's falling down now i did have my folic acid in that but i stopped taking that because this has everything in it. it's a prenatal and this also has ginger in it um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make the coffee now, store in the fridge, and I'm going to try and figure out if I'm going to have something to eat now, 7.35 in the morning. Let's see how week nine goes. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is that my hair, oh my gosh, guys, my hair is growing. It feels a lot fuller. My hair feels really full. Obviously, it's compressed at the moment because I had a headscarf on. My front hairline is growing so, so rapidly. My hair is fuller. My skin feels a lot better. When I found out I was pregnant about week four, week five, week six, I had spots all over my chin area. As you can see, some of the scars, I was trying to get rid of it. Um, on my chin, I had so much spots. 
I didn't have nothing on my forehead or around my eye area or my cheeks. It was just all down my jawline and my and my um under my chin. But it's a lot better now. My skin is um a lot lighter. Uh, my husband says my my skin is glowing. He believes glowing is when you're lighter, and I'm like, no, glowing is when you're shiny, like when you're just popping, you know. But obviously, I have no makeup on, nothing on. I don't know. You tell me. Do you think my skin is lighter? <laughs> um i haven't really got the energy much you know um so far i'm really counting down to week 12 which is about three weeks time and i can't wait I just can't wait so i can get my energy back and also yesterday guys let me show you something i got me an aloe vera plant yes let me show you guys look at my aloe vera plant finally got me one so i'm gonna depot this and find a bigger pot for it so i mainly got this because i wanted to start using aloe vera on my hair a lot more and i want to start growing my hair naturally a bit more so you guys might see me with a new look very soon um, because i'm not going to be able to be bleaching my hair regularly because it's not good for you when you're pregnant it's not harmful there's no scientific evidence to show that it's harmful but just because your body absorbs a lot more when you're pregnant i just have to be more safer so this is my new pet plant i call this vera baby <laughs> So named after myself so i can't wait to start using this in my hair it feels so soft and lovely so yeah that's that so guys i've just made me my coffee this is a decaf coffee i'll show you the brand that i use um i like coffee so i've always had coffee even before i got pregnant so i use this kenko decaf one um and i just make it like a normal coffee hot and when it cools down i'm gonna put it in the fridge um and in the morning i'll have this before my breakfast after i've had my water i have my coffee um and then i would mix it with um my almond milk because that's what i've been taking recently just um I just feel like almond milk. That's something I've been able to take. I've not been able to really have so much cereal. But let me show you the almond milk, guys. So I've been taking this one from Asda. Um, it's quite nice as well. So I'll put that in in the morning. And then have it in my jar. My fridge is quite full at the moment with different things. Some of them I can't eat. Some of them I can. These are my go-to fruits at the moment. Blueberries. Mangoes um watermelons um what else do i have i've got some pomegranates and some blackberries as well so i mix all that together with nuts and i drizzle with a bit of evaporated milk and i'm able to eat that that's something i'm able to eat i have my yogurt here as well which i mix with granola um, I'll show you the granola I have at the moment. This lactose milk is for my daughter. She takes lactose milk. So, yeah, I've got my orange juice here and I've got my salad here as well. But, you know, a lot of the things I've not been able to really eat much. So, my, food, my fridge is just filled. And at the moment, sometimes I feel like I'm actually just wasting money buying stuff that I'm not really going to eat. I've got my vegetable stuff here. Um, my kale is here when I want to make my smoothie. Um... So yeah, it's 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 just been so weird. Like a lot of the stuff that I have, like look at this chicken. I bought this chicken wings from a Jamaican shop. Really nice chicken wings and I normally love to eat this. Guys, waste of money. I've not been able to eat it because my food evasions will not, will not allow me to be great. I can't stand certain things at the moment. It's been so difficult trying to eat a few things. Um, so that's about that really guys um for week nine week 10 i'll update you a little bit more about what's happening in week 10 hopefully things will be a bit better as the baby starts to produce the placenta or the placenta is being produced hopefully i won't feel so sick i won't feel so nauseated and all of that stuff so thanks for watching